Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm driving in my car. Obviously, I'm not just sitting in my car. Just got off of work um, a little while ago. And I'm driving home. So, I've been kind of MIA a little bit on this channel and my podcast. So, like, on my podcast, I just want to sum this up really quick. On my podcast, I love doing it. I will continue to do it. But I'm going to start uploading the podcast episodes to YouTube as well in the future. Um, I kind of did it for 10 episodes and I na have now figured out what works, what doesn't work, ways to kind of make things better. I had my trial run and now it'll be starting on the YouTube channel as well. So basically I'll still be uploading it on Anchor, which is the platform that I use, but then since I'm not really like trying to make money and all that kind of crap off of it, uh, I'm going to upload it to YouTube as well. Uh, when that's going to start, I don't know. Um, I got a lot of stuff, a lot of movies to talk about. I've actually watched 15 more movies than there are days in this year so far. So uh, that's awesome. So with all that aside, uh, this year I will be announcing my 24-hour movie marathon rules, and this will be the year that I jump back into it. I tried last year and I just it just didn't work out. So this year is the year that I'll be jumping back into it. So with all that being said, um, yeah, I just I wanted to make this video. So this is just something that's been on my mind. Has there ever been like a collection of Blu-rays or something that you have that you watch them and the action is really loud and then the dialogue is really low and you're constantly going up and down, up and down with the volume, whether you're using a sound bar or a regular just TV speakers. Um, it doesn't happen with everything, but I noticed that it does happen for a lot of things that I have now. And so one of them is my James Bond Blu-ray set, the 50th anniversary set. So I love the set, but man, and I've tried it on multiple TVs, um, even at a different location. And I've tried different audio options, the 5.1 stuff, the, the original mono sound, thinking that would make it better. And basically, for instance, I'll be watching Let's just say Moonraker. The beginning of Moonraker has that huge uh, part where the space shuttle gets hijacked and they've you know, a little bit of action and all of a sudden it shoots to uh, M's office and he's on the phone, but it's so quiet. You gotta turn it up really high just to hear what he's saying. And then the next thing, when the music starts, you have to turn it down low again. So the last time, I always rewatch the Bond films every year. And I am in the middle of doing a rewatch now. Just got done with A View to a Kill, a movie that I love. And I started watching them on my Blu-rays. And by the time I got to Thunderball, I was so frustrated. I have since been going between Paramount Plus and HBO Max, where the movies are, because I, I got so tired of the audio issue. I tried it on multiple things. I went on a bunch of forums and did different settings. And it seemed like no matter what I did, it still wouldn't fix the problem. But it doesn't always do that with Blu-rays that I have. There's other Blu-rays I have that that's not an issue at all. Um, now I'm sure you know some you know some of you guys that are really into audio might be like, oh my gosh, well all you got to do is this and this and this is because you're listening to it with this, this and this and this. I just think that a casual film watcher, somebody who likes the Bond movies. I mean, I love the Bond movies, but a casual movie watcher, not a collector like me, should be able just to take the Blu-rays, put them into their Blu-ray player. Um, well, it happened on my Blu-ray player too, but I play the Blu-rays in my 4K um, Ultra HD player. And you should just be able to put it in and let it work and you could just choose whatever sound options you want. Um, and, it, and it worked fine, but... I don't feel like you should be able to go through all this. And so even though the picture quality wasn't as good on streaming, obviously, 
you know, I don't really, I'm not really, you know, I'm not one to like upgrade everything to 4K and do all this stuff. I just want to watch a good print of a film. Um, and I love, you know, I watch a lot of obscure old school Warner Archive, just restored, just found, you know, noirs from the 40s and 50s that are in terrible shape. Like, I love good picture quality, but I'm not one that's like, oh, well, uh, it has to be the absolute perfect pixel, uh, you know, 4K. You know, I only really upgrade to 4K is if it's a new restoration of a film or if it's like, you know, you know, something like sci-fi. You know, you guys know what I'm, where I'm getting at. Um, you know, I have 12 Angry Men on Criterion. I don't feel like I need to upgrade that to the new 4K they're coming out with. And it's not that it won't look better. It's just, it's a, I'd rather spend my money on something that I don't already have. And, uh, you know, who knows? So, do, does anybody else have that issue? Like I said, it doesn't happen with every single one of them. But it seems like this James Bond set is, the, and that's the one I return to a lot. Um, that's... I mean, it's really annoying. And then I put in the, um, you know, the same Blu-rays and I watched the special features on it, you know, the making ofs, and the audio is perfectly fine. So is that something in the restoration process or something like, do I have to have seven speakers or five different speakers of surround sound to get the right thing? Like, I don't think that's, I don't know. Who knows? So... Yeah, I'm going to be filming a lot of these random driving home from work videos and kind of having discussion with you guys. Just let me know what you think down below. Have you guys had that with anything? If you have any suggestions for me. And I mean, I've changed every little single setting based on the forums to try to do what I needed to do. And maybe it helped a little bit, but it like, I'm still going up and down, up and down, up and down. So anyways, guys good to see you again hope you, you guys are doing well i'm doing great still watching a lot of movies and stuff uh, it's just like you know there's really no excuse like i've just been enjoying life and i haven't um you know i just haven't had that urge to film something even though i always want to i keep wanting to make more videos but i think i'm at that phase i'm finally at that acceptance phase to where i'm not going to be ever the type that has a schedule or has consistent content all the time maybe a video here or there and maybe there'll be times where I'll have more and I'm happy I'm fine with it because there's still a lot of you guys I keep in contact with I'm not looking for I don't think that I mean this is kind of sad but like I think the time has passed I don't think I'm ever really going to grow more than I am now and I might as well just be happy with how I am uh how I am on this YouTube channel, and um, yeah, good to see you guys again. Take care.